good day. And we are fucked. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. All of them, all of them, all of them. Hello and welcome, all you explorers out there, to our brand new channel. My name is Jan. And I'm Dan. We, we are the, the Castaway, Castaway Couple. Couple. Hello dear viewers. Today we want to share something deeply personal and meaningful with you. The years we have dreamt of embarking on a new adventure, of leaving behind the comforts of our lives here in Australia and embracing a new and simpler one in the Philippines. It's a decision that hasn't come lightly, but one that has been brewing with us for a very long time. You Me? see, yeah, life has a way of slipping through our fingers if we let it. We've witnessed others who have taken this leap of faith, who have chosen to pursue their dreams rather than conform to societal expectations. The courage has inspired us to stop postponing our own dreams and to seize the present moment. Yes, that's right. There's been a few channels that we've been following and um, we've just come to realise that life is too precious to be continuously deferred to some distant future. Our Western mentality tempts us to sacrifice our best years in pursuit of a promise that may never materialise. But deep down we know that true fulfilment lies embracing the now, in living authentically and fearlessly. That's right. The journey ahead would be without its challenges. Yeah. We'll face obstacles, cultural differences sure. and moments of doubt. But we believe that it is in those moments of discomfort and growth we find our true selves and discover what we are truly capable of. That's right, the cultural part won't be that hard because at least we have you. So, you're a local, uh, we should be alright. But guys, look, we invite you to join us on this pretty extraordinary journey, really. Together, let's uncover the beauty of letting go, of embracing change, and of cherishing every precious moment. Let's challenge the status quo and redefine what it means to truly live. Yep. Because in the end, it's not about the positions we accumulate or the achievements we rack up. Really? It's about the experiences we gather, yeah. the connections we forge, mm -hmm. and the richness of the human spirit. We have only one life, and we must choose to live it fully. I believe so. Preach it, darling. Preach it. Um, so look, guys, we'd just like to say a big thank you for being a part of our adventure. We look forward to sharing the highs and the lows and everything in between with all of you. So please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. It would help us out greatly, we really appreciate it. As we strive to unlock the secrets of a life untethered. Hey guys, so once again, just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and I really hope that you liked that little clip that we put at the very start. Just that little montage added a little bit of spice in the video, I hope. Bear with us while we iron out some of the teasing, teething issues. We're not professionals by any means of videography. We literally grabbed our phones and we went out and just started shooting. Um, so if there are any pros out there watching this, and if you have any constructive criticism, then please feel free to drop us a comment in the comment section below and we'll definitely make sure to check it out. Um, but as you know, every channel has its own style. Everybody has their own creative flair and this is just ours. I mean, we don't have to really do it. This is more of a, a vlog channel, a talk channel, and we're here to bring you as much valuable content as possible. So what's going to be happening over the course over the next weeks, months, potentially even years, there's gonna be a lot going on. Um, as you've deduced from what we mentioned, we're moving to the Philippines. It's a very slow process. We've been doing it for the past five years, but we've been putting it off chasing more money, more careers, you know, we'll just we'll just do it a little bit later. We'll make it a five year plan, then a 10 year plan, and, a, and it just keeps going on and on, and we just, we've had enough. It's just something that we really wanna do. I've never been to Philippines before. I met my wife here in Australia. We got married, we fell in love, and look, the best things happen when you least expect them, and this was it. But I went to Ormoc, to the Philippines, uh, we got married there, actually. We've got a wedding video somewhere too, honey, so we might be able to post that up for everybody too, and you guys can check that out. But um, look, I fell in love with with the city, with Ormoc, with Leyte, with, the, with all the Philippines. 
and something just drew me, drew my heart there. It really made me desire to have a life there. And I came back to Australia and I felt nothing but cold. It just felt like a dark, damp swamp, you know, depressing this. Not a lot of love, not a lot of joy, not a lot of happy moments here. Everyone's just rushing for the dollar. Everybody's just in their own frame of mind, in this narrow tunnel vision, and they're just, all they can see is a dollar sign at the end, or, a, you know, put a goal at the end of the rainbow that really doesn't exist. And we think it fulfills us, but it doesn't. And we've just taken on, you know, it's been an internal conflict because my culture, I'm from the Western world. I was raised by Western parents who were originally from Poland. They came here, they worked, and they worked hard and they retired and they made money, but that's all they ever did. They didn't really have a lot of time. They didn't really have a lot of, they didn't build that many meaningful connections. I went to the Philippines and I witnessed <clears throat> people that we would consider poor. But what is the definition of poor? I can see them smiling a hell of a lot more than I ever smile here in Australia. All I do is I work. All my wife does is she works. We don't have a lot of time to go out. When we do, we try to do stuff like this and it takes us a lot of effort and a lot of work. Um, and a lot of people re in reality here don't have the money to go out every single weekend. They don't earn those, you know, they don't earn such a strong income. They can pay all the bills. The interest rates are increasing. It's just, it's getting pretty tough. Now, is it really worth to continue to keep sacrificing your time and only making tiny steps or two steps forward, one step back. Sometimes one step forward, two steps back. And then you look out at the end of it all and you just go, what have I really done? What have I really achieved? Who have I met? What friends have I made? What impact have I made on people's lives? And I'm gonna be honest at this stage, it's not much, if anything at all. And I'm getting a bit older. I just turned 30 in June. And I'm realizing that that is really what's important. I used to be hungry, chasing money, and you'll see in our future videos, you'll, you'll see us selling our car, which is my pride and joy. I love that thing, like, you know, I pamper it, I polish it, I clean it. We'll be cleaning it up, and we're gonna be listing it for sale, amongst other things. So, it's just going to be a slow transition between here and the Philippines, um, but we're gonna be doing it, because, like I said, it's just something that we wanna do, and we're not gonna find excuses why we can't anymore. We're going, to find, we're going to find excuses for why we can and why we should and ultimately why we will. So stay tuned and um, yeah, thanks for watching guys.